So today I'm going to talk about those state regulated burial life insurance claims that you see out there everywhere. They are so prevalent. You see them in the mail. You see those claims made on television. See those claims made on Facebook. Oh my gosh, they're all over Facebook. Do all the silly people like live on Facebook? I guess that may be the case. You see them on advertisements just in so many different places. And you go, well, it's state regulated. It's got to be good, right? And, and you may go, well, it's, it's state regulated. It's got to be free, right? Well, well, nothing could be further from the truth. And unfortunately, when you think about anything the state does, all 50 states, do you, do you ever get the impression that the states do anything incredibly well? I mean, there, there may be some instances, but by and large, states are kind of big, clunky bureaucracies, and nothing's ever done extremely well, and nothing's ever done really very affordably. So, number one, when you hear something that says state approved or endorsed or something like that, I'd, I'd probably recommend you, you be a little bit cautious about that. Just use your common sense. Everybody watches the news every day and finds out, you know, all this crazy stuff that's going on that the state hasn't done or it slipped through the cracks or somebody was injured or something like that. So number one, be very suspicious. That's probably why you're watching this video anyway. Number two, a lot of people, when they hear state approved benefits plan, they think that it's approved for and paid for by the state. And I don't mean to like beat up on the states here, but most states out there can't, can't even operate within their own budget and they're running deficit budgets. They don't have the money. And if they want more money, they're going to have to tax the citizens more to get it. And then everything's going to cost more in the state. So I, I can assure you, I can 100% assure you that none of the states out there are going to pay burial, cremation, or final expense life insurance for people who have had the ability to buy this insurance their whole adult life, but never did it, and often put it off way, 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 way too far until the end. In fact, we get so many calls from folks saying, hey, my mom's in hospice. I think I should probably get this state-approved burial insurance policy so that you know when she dies next week, you know, we can get $10,000 to barrier. And we're like, number one, we're always compassionate because they do have somebody that's passing away and, and they're struggling. They're struggling. They don't have the money. They're reaching and grasping for anything to help them, for any ray of sunshine with these dark storm clouds looming around them to try, try to help them pay for that. But by the same token, when, when you think about it objectively and you step away from out of that very emotional situation, you read those cards and you go, yeah, this has got to be BS, right? <laughs> I mean, the, the state's not going to do that stuff. The state's not going to pay money for every citizen within the state and, and pay for their burial, cremation, or final expense needs. That's up to the family to do. That's up to... The person who passed away could have easily taken out insurance before. You know, we help people with burial, cremation, final expense, life insurance. People can buy that. <laughs> it's not paid for the, by the state. You've got to pay for it. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't have it. It just means you should probably have better priorities so that your family doesn't struggle with this when you actually do pass away. So bottom line is... The, the state's not going to do you any favors. And when, when you start looking for free insurance, you know, just, there, there's nothing out there. There's nothing out there that's free. Um, and, and the word state regulated is really used by marketers simply to get your personal information. Think about that state regulated burial insurance information send your info in and we'll help you find out what you qualify for 
Well, you would have qualified for it without sending that stupid card in. So why do you need the card? Well, why do they need the card? That's the better question. Here's the dirty little secret. Those cards are often sent in. And if you look at the, the return address, it's going to say mailing center of whatever city. Just if you look for mailing center, just understand it's a bulk direct mail company sending out these letters. When those letters come back, they then sell the information on those letters to insurance agents that can't evidently market themselves or find clients to sell to. So when that card comes back, it's, it's called a lead. And when your information's on that card, you become the lead. And they may, may you know, typically they're going to mail out thousands of those cards, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands, every day, every month, every year. Your mailbox probably gets flooded with them. And say out of every hundred cards that go out, maybe only, you know, three to five or six people send those cards back in. So what the insurance companies and those agents think is, hey, this is a really high intent lead. Because if 95 people didn't send it in, send it in, and five did, those five people must really want to buy this. And, and the reality is that a lot of people are just looking for information. They don't want to be sold. They don't want their name to get on a list where five or six agents are going to call them day after day, hour after hour, minute after minute. Oh my gosh. We hear that all the time. People go, I just, my phone blew up the minute I sent that thing in on Facebook. And the reason is, is a lot of times those, those, leads you you are the lead remember that a lot of times your information is going to be sold to you know four or five six different agents each of those agents is going to pay 20 30 40 dollars for that and it's just a race to find out who's going to get in touch with you first to sell that policy that you by default almost guaranteed you were going to buy because you sent a card in even though you just wanted information so keep in mind that, I mean, these, these agents, bless their hearts, you know, they paid a lot of money for the opportunity to try to sell you something. And a lot of times they won't take no for an answer. You pick up the phone and say, I'm not interested. And you know what happens? Boom. You go right back into the list. And then your information may be sold to somebody else. It may be sold five or six times. So... We recommend anytime you hear state burial insurance program, anything like that, be very cautious because although the state does regulate what's sold within the state, they don't regulate these programs and give it away for free. Think about it, state regulated. What in the state is not regulated? Energy is regulated. You know, the power that goes to your house. Gasoline's regulated and taxed. Sorry, flies. Did you see that fly? <laughs> I had a fly flying around me. Uh, maybe the state could take care of him. So, um, I mean, think about it. Ketchup, mustard, bread, peanut butter, jelly, all that stuff's regulated. The state has standards for all of that stuff. And yet when you go down to the store, it doesn't say, hey, buy this state-regulated peanut butter and jelly sandwich. They don't do that. So whenever you see the word state-regulated burial insurance, just understand that it could not be a clearer message not to send something like that in. And just be a smart consumer. Be a smart consumer. Call a trusted life agent that doesn't do that. When somebody mails you something out of the blue, you've got no relationship with them, don't just fill your information out on the card and mail it in. Do some research. Get on Google. Find out if they're a legitimate business, if they've got any complaints. If you're on Facebook and see an advertisement, state regulated or any other advertisement, get online and Google the business. A lot of times on Facebook, people are making up names on Facebook and you, you can't even find them as a legitimate business on the internet. 
Facebook doesn't verify. Well, I, well, Facebook does verify businesses, but you don't have to get verified to advertise on Facebook. You can just come up with any name you want. State regulated burial insurance of Kentucky. Try finding that on Google. That's not going to be a business name. So just be cautious out there. Understand that, you know, as long as stuff's been sold and print and advertising, there have been marketers out there who have tried to come with, up with creative ways to say something to attract people's attention, to move them to fill something out and give up their personal information. So if you don't want that to happen, what you should do is just talk with a trusted life insurance agent. Funeral Funds of America, we'd love to help you out with this. Google us. Check us out. Find out about the owner, me. You can do that. It's on our website. You can see my insurance licenses. You can see all our reviews. There's nothing hidden. And that's the kind of insurance company you want to deal with. So if you need any help with any burial, cremation, or final expense life insurance, give us a call at Funeral Funds of America. Our phone number is 888-862-9456. And we'll help you out. And we promise we won't sell your information. And we promise we will never say the word state, burial, benefits, life insurance, or anything of the liking. You take care. Bye-bye.